Hello, hello, I'm Sasha of Sasha Makes Cards, and today I'm here with Chibitronics, sharing how I made this very easy, yet also kind of spooky and ominous Halloween light-up card. Since today I'm going to be sharing how I made the circuit and the overall light-up component using Chibitronics products, I have went ahead and completed the card background as well as the image that I will be using for this card. I created the background using black soot distress oxide, creating a very simple but effective spooky background. As for the image, the main focal point of the card, I decided to stamp a little bird as well as a trick or treat bucket and a witch hat from the Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous mini bird crazy and things stamp set to create a simple Halloween themed bird. Now, since the stamp set doesn't have any sentiments that come with it, I decided to take a trick or treat sentiment from the Going Caddy Whimsy Stamp stamp set and use that for this card. Besides the image in the background, you will also need your card base. Today, I am using an A2 size card base to make this card, a 3 volt battery, the Chibitronics craft stencil, which is perfect for helping you line up your LED stickers and making sure you have it in just the right spot. The Chibitronics conductive fabric tape for, of course, building the circuit. Chibitronics LED stickers, which there are a wide variety to choose from. Today, I'm going to be using the regular white LED stickers. However, I'm going to also be showing you a little hack to make them colored. Some foam tape, as well as a battery holder. Now, today, I made a simple battery holder. All you have to do to do this is take a scrap piece of cardstock, cut out a little rectangle, and fold it in half. However, Chibitronics also offers the foam adhesive pack, which comes with, of course, the foam tape, as well as pre-made battery holders. Now, with all that aside, let me tell you what I'm doing to make this card. I started by using a simple pencil to mark out where I want to place both my LED sticker as well as the button, or in other words, the battery. Since I was planning on placing my bird right in the middle of the card, I placed a little pencil dot right through the little pumpkin trick-or-treat basket to mark where I want the LED sticker to shine through. As for the little trick-or-treat sentiment banner, I used a ruler to kind of measure out where I wanted it to go. I then used this hole punch that I have. You can get these at any craft store, Amazon, really wherever. <laughs> you can get office supplies. And then punched out the hole in the middle of the card where the LED sticker is going to shine through. Since I now have my marking made for the LED sticker and the battery holder, I can now move on to outlining a very simple circuit using the craft stencil. The great thing about the craft stencil is you can use it both to make the markings for your LED sticker, which as you see I've done here, as well as use it as a ruler to help guide you in making your circuit for your light up card. When creating your guide for the circuit, you will be drawing two lines on either side of the LED sticker that we made using the craft stencil. One side of the circuit will be the positive side and one side of the circuit will be the negative side. Once we have that ready, we can then place down our battery holder. I'm just using some liquid adhesive glue for this. And then we can move on to using the Kibitronics conductive fabric tape. To do this, all you have to do is place the fabric tape on the already made guidelines that you've created using the craft stencil. Once you're ready, you can then place down your Chibitronic LED sticker onto your circuit and test it using the three volt battery. Make sure you always test your circuit before completing your card as it would be a terrible thing to have your card completely together and then find out that your circuit doesn't actually work. 
One common mistake that might happen if you put together your circuit and you find out that the LED sticker doesn't light up is you may have the positive side and the negative side mixed up. On the LED sticker itself, there is a positive and negative sign indicating which is which on the sticker. Simply line this up to the positive sign and negative sign of your 3 volt battery and your circuit should be working just fine. Although today I am using the white LED stickers, I want to create a little bit of a more spooky effect. To do this, I simply place a piece of clear scotch tape over top of the LED sticker and color over top of it using my desired color marker of choice. For this, I'm using a bright neon orange sharpie marker as I want it to be a nice Halloween themed card. Now to kind of finish things up, I am closing my battery holder using some foam tape. All I'm doing here is cutting a piece of foam tape, splitting that piece in half, and then simply kind of just enclosing the battery using the foam tape. For this, I'm using two layers of foam tape to make sure that the foam tape is higher than the battery itself so that when you push down, the light will actually light up and it's not just constantly on. And just like that, the light up card is done. I've gone ahead and finished it by simply placing two layers of foam tape going around the entire exterior of the card base, as well as gluing on the sentiment and the image according to the markings we made at the beginning of the video. As you can see, even with the battery and the light up component, as well as the two layers of foam tape to accommodate for this, the card is still quite thin and very easy to mail or to give to your loved ones. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the description below for a complete list of the supplies and products I used to create this Halloween themed light up card, as well as links to both my social media and the Chibitronics social media. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.